the, you know, do you think Microsoft's going to launch any AI based FPNA tools? And my question to that is, is if so, or when it happens, where does your world, how does that, how, how does technology and these, you know, big players that release things that impact what you're doing, if at all, I mean, because you're a services side. So it's a good question. Thanks. Whoever the LinkedIn user is. Stay yeah, LinkedIn, shout out to LinkedIn user, right? I love that question. And I was at a conference, uh, I was at a CFO conference last year. Uh, shout out to the CFO Leadership Council, Jack, all my guys out there. And we were talking about this exact topic. Here's my insight around that. When you look at what is the number one FPNA tool of all time, it's undefeated. And it's always going to be undefeated. Microsoft Excel is like the number one FPNA tool. The world runs on Excel, time. right? Yeah. So it's like, and when you look at the landscape of FPNA tools, right? Like Microsoft has D365, which, as I talked about earlier, is their ERP platform. So that's where all the counting is taking place. Microsoft also has a Gardner leading business intelligent tool called Power BI, right? And now, they have Copilot inside of it. Here's what we're going to get to. And Thomas and LinkedIn user, remember at June 18, 2024, at 1233 Eastern Standard Time, I said this. Microsoft build an FPNA solution. They're going to acquire an FPNA solution. And this is what the tool set that people are going to have at their disposal. They're going to have D365. They're going to have Power BI built on top, business intelligence on top of accounting software. You're going to have an FPNA solution on top of the accounting software. You're going to have Copilot integrated in all that data. Thomas and LinkedIn user, we're going to get to a point where you're going to open up your phone. I'm going to grab my phone and you're going to open up Power BI, right? And you're going to say Power BI. What is my next six months forecast and how does that compare to last year? Microsoft has Cortana. They have like the, the voice recognition. You're, we're going to get to that point where business people are going to be enabled. Salesperson is going to sit across and say, hey, what's my bookings projection that finance has for me for July through December? And give it to me in a bar graph that I can easily read. Flip open my screen and see it. That right there. For some people is like, I look at it as like, that's awesome. I love that. I love to empower the business where they don't have to come send me that email or send me that Microsoft Teams request and say, hey, CFO, Chris, you're our fractional CFO. What's our what's our bookings projections for July through December, right? I don't, I don't want them to do that. I want to be able to create a system where they can go access and consume actionable data and insights that they need which is the role of what technology needs to do, right? It's, it's a simple framework. Let me break it down for you. Yeah, yeah. It's well, called, I, I, think, I think part of that, just to, to say, is that, is that you're, we're describing as um, where AI is going to accelerate human. And also come to like, well, you're, an AI is never going to be the CFO because there's the day-to-day -day yeah. nuance and things, and things that they're going to be there to guide that CFO job. based on a lot of data that they could not have possibly consumed to say, hey, this is what we should do. And, and I think it's also... Uh, just to get into it a little bit, I think you shift from, you know, there's a quarterly, yearly vision, but the truth is you can almost micro with right AI and data at a daily level of, hey, listen, I think we're we're, we're here, we're there. I didn't interrupt you, but I just, I think the importance how much AI is going to play in lots of business, but in particular, when you have data like math, that's somewhat gold golden standard rule data that's known. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just to reiterate, just to give a simple, easy framework on how this AI and part of Microsoft or just AI overall can be a value add to finance CFOs, professionals, right? It's a decision. It's a framework that I call the decision cycle. Very easy to understand. Processes drive data. Data is then turned to information. Information is shared through knowledge to ultimately make a business decision. Process, data, information, knowledge, decision, right? The value add and where finance, accounting, FP&A, and CFO professionals will, will never be replaced is knowledge to decision making. That is the value add we need to be. But if you look at right now, right, there's probably people looking at this and saying, Chris, 
I'm in the process now of gathering data. I got to refresh this data, do all these V lookups and all this massaging of this data to actually get it to information that then I can share it to my sales partner so we can make a decision. Here's the value added that decision cycle. Technology, whether it's Microsoft's AI, whether it's uh, uh, Gemini with Google, whether it's Copilot, whether it's ChatGPT, irregardless, process data information, let technology do that. You put the CFO, you put the finance professional at the most value added part of that decision cycle, knowledge. How can you take this data and information, communicate it, bring clarity and bring connection to a person to make a business decision, right? You talk about 80-20 of balance, right? 80% of finance professionals are like, I'm turning through this data, this process data information. Imagine the time, energy, effort, resource. Imagine your life. When you're focused on, I got all this edit to me, and all I got to do is sit across from my CEO, business owner, or founder, and we got to share this knowledge to make a business decision. Game changer. 